welcome back in this video we will complete our authentication process so we were here in the last video so let's go to the documentation which we have opened in the last video and just select java from here and just copy out this code and when user selects send sms button we have got the phone number from him and now we need to pass that number to uh, to this instance this is actually a phone authentication provider instance that automatically uh, sends an sms uh, to the particular number it automatically gets the required network information so we don't need to worry about that and I have provided the phone number which I've got here from here so we need to have some callbacks callbacks are kind of functions uh, also called an inter uh, inside written inside an interface so we will implement this interface callback function the difference between a, a simple function and a callback function is that simple function is called whenever you want to call it but a callback function is called uh, when uh, some particular job completes it it gets called automatically for example uh, when you are downloading some file then when the download of that particular file will complete uh, it automatically call the on completed function will be automatically called so the same process is here so i'm going to create m callbacks so for that just go to uh, documentation again and scroll down from here and the third one is m callbacks all right so just copy out this one and i'm going to create a new function here public wide apply callbacks perfect so i'm just going to paste in in all of the stuff we've copied from Google website so we need to create an instance not an instance uh, a reference of this an object or an instance are two same things and object is created when we use a new keyword and but the previous that is also called a variable is also called reference to that particular class or uh, interface whatever it is so I'm going to just make a field in my main activity with the name of m callback and its type is going to be this one so that's how Android studio help us to create this so now I have to create tag for that I'm just going to press on it alt enter but it's not working so I'm going to create a tag here for example string tag equals it's going to be main activity so I'm just typing here main activity perfect so the other errors are remaining that we have to create a sign with phone uh, sign in with phone authentication credentials so we need to create that and we need to create these two variables too so I'm going to create them as field of this activity so create field in main activity perfect so we have created m verification id and the next one is m recent token so just press alt enter not working on it so it's of type i guess let me check it token is of type this one so i'm going to create a token of this type so i'm just going to get here and just create a private field token perfect no its name is i guess m recent token so i'm going to make it m recent token perfect so now we need to have this function so i'm going to go to firebase.google.com slash docs and just scroll down and just copy this one this whole function just copy it and just paste it in here and now we need to create m auth object so i'm going to do that m auth reference actually so i've created m auth reference but we need to give uh create its object as well so we can but we can do is just type in m auth equals firebase auth 
it stands for and dot get instance the first one perfect so we have solved all of our errors so now I'm going to explain how this all of stuff works actually we need to call this function here apply callbacks sorry just apply callbacks perfect so when a person hits send SMS button this function gets called and it gets the phone number from that field and we need to have another check here for example if phone dot is empty then just make a just make a toast that will display that you haven't entered any please fill the please enter phone number and toast dot length short dot show perfect so we need to return from here we don't need to move forward if a user haven't entered any phone number perfect so if user has entered something in this field so it will be get by get text and then that will be passed to the phone auth provider from here and it will take it has this timeout duration of 60 seconds means that it will wait for the 60 seconds and if you if user not gets verified then uh, it, we have to send this message again so m callbacks is the function uh, is the actually the interface that gets called on any event that occurs on this uh, phone number for example when the verification completes this function gets called automatically and then we call sign in with phone or credentials to sign the user in and on verification fail this function gets called and on code sent whenever the code will be sent this is going to be called so I'm going to make a toast here that we have sent the code we can use the second one to create new toast automatically just get it like this and just type in code sent perfect so this will send the code now if user has been verified and is going to be signed in so if if task dot is successful what actually this does is this actually adds the that particular record to the database and on the success of that particular task user gets created in our database and when the user gets created I'm going to make a toast here that user toast the second one from here user signed in successfully so and it will return user in this user instance and what uh, we can do anything we want to do after this so if this process gets failed so it will just log out that uh, sign it is failed so this was the whole process but uh, we haven't done one thing is that uh, we haven't resend the message if a user just failed to verify its phone number then we have to send that message again so i'm going to run this first we will experience that later so i'm just going to run it just run this project on my emulator and use the same device of future launches So it's successfully launched. 
I'm going to just enter my phone number like plus nine two. I'm from Pakistan, so my country code is nine two. So I'm going to enter that. If you are uh, from another country, then you should enter your uh, country code. So I'm going to enter next my phone number. So this phone number as uh, will not uh, exist in this uh, emulator. The message will be sent to my physical device, and I will enter code from there. So I'm going to just oh I just closed it oh just lost the data so I'm going to enter it again three four seven so now I'm going to send this SMS so if I press send SMS. something happened code sent so you have seen the toast that code is been sent so let me check here I haven't received code on my physical device yet I haven't received yet but uh, one thing I should check is that why this UI didn't update it we have done that whenever the send SMS is been clicked uh, these views should get hidden and the next views should come into play so let me check that first it should uh, send sms dot set visibility oh i just i have done opposite to what i wanted to do visible just make them visible and just make these guys gone so Now I'm going to run it again. So I'm going to send this message again, send SMS and as you have seen that that the second UI appeared but the previous one this verification didn't disappear there would be something wrong with that. So oh, I'm using the same one again what happened to me I have to do here was the phone number that set visibility gone. I'm going to run it again so I don't need to run it again because uh, Google just blocks your number if you keep on sending the SMS's again and again so let me go to my Google Play console console.google.firebase.com So what we need to do is in authentication I remember that uh, I have used my test code for that and that was I guess one two three four <coughs> actually where I live is uh, there is a network problem so if I go to outside of my room then I will get the verification message I'm just going to type in the verification code that I've used here one two three four five it was let me verify it let me check if it failed the verification or just verified so we can do is 
go to a locket <coughs> and just check for main activity it was main activity main activity so the message was warning message so i'm going to make it one <coughs> illegal state exception could not execute method for on click for Okay, so com dot auth auth credentials on a null object reference. Why this happened? I don't know. On verification completed. Let me check this one. That was on verification. I'm going to just go to my firebase let me check where I just set that I don't remember the exact place SMS verification login code password reset sign in method was enabled phone number okay so it was 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let me uh, uh, this is the number and it was 1 2 3 4 5 6 so I'm going to just make it again let's verify but time is over I guess so I need to send it again let me just run the app again Plus nine two three four seven six zero and I'm going to send it and perfect this was perfect so code send so I'm going to enter that the code I've set there so if I press verify now it's still I guess the exception maybe let me check that why verification going to poll verification didn't complete it so that was let me check if phone verification failed on let me just make a toast here it is not very clear that was the so on code sent on failed and it is should be on in inside on verification completed and I think we have left something here let me check it again we have missed something maybe
this guy right here so we have to create this one okay so this is for if you want to send it again so we are getting credential from here so it should not be null and again it needs to be converted into string so let me just make it comment it so i'm going to run it again now code sent so i'm going to oh yaar dear inside verify i haven't done anything yet so inside verify code i haven't done anything so how this will get verified oh i just forgot everything so we need to get that code from that particular text field so i'm going going to get that code is equal to verification code dot get text dot to string and that code should be converted into that code should be passed to credential object and we need to get this from m verification id and now we need to just pass this to the sign in with credentials perfect so this way it will get verified now so i'm going to run it again code send so i'm going to just type in the code and just press verify oh you just signed in successfully so that was it i just forgot to very uh, just write this code in verification button code so that's it for this video it just blown away my mind so see you in the next videos and in the next few videos we will continue to create create our journey continue to move our journey towards creating whatsapp thanks for watching this video